Hey, nerdlings. What up, nerdlings? Hey, do you nerd for mail? All right, so not any mail, but VGM. And what is VGM? Oh, well, Tom, I like to send you video games monthly. Oh, that's awesome, Floyd. So these are games that you're just loaning me. No, you get to keep them. That's great. Oh, wait, are these only new games? Are you kidding, sucker? We're talking like Atari and a television all the way up to PS3 and Wii U. Wow, that's a lot of different games to choose from. You damn straight, brother! Well... And that's VGM in a nutshell. No, in this, case, this a is me in a nutshell. Help! I'm in a nutshell! <laughs> so... Wow. There are different tiers to VGM. So it's kind of uh, mean. We do the, uh, <laughs> we do the three game tier. It goes all the way up to a power pack of ten. Sometimes you get what? One up! Two up! Three up! Bazillion up! Well, apparently not bazillion up because we've yet to get that one. I'm, hey, it's gonna happen. <laughs> All right, well, the lovely lady Lacey likes to blind hand these to me, so I will let her open it up and she will show me what kind of goodies we have in here. So you have a card and this tells you, hey, go online, fill in that list with the new games that you pick up so that we don't send you the same games. Are you ready for your up? The, is, is this the bazillion up? Nope. Just the one up, but it's not just a one it's, up. Yeah, it's not just the one up because that means one more awesome game to add to the collection. Here's your freebie. Ready? Catch. <laughs> That's pretty cute. <laughs> That's a tiny frisbee. It's a tiny frisbee. Or if you're like a back of the day gamer or gaming off the grid, I mean, you could just flip that over and use it as a coaster. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's cute. Yeah, something fun that uh, VGM does is every month they pack in a little something extra, which is kind of nice. Okay, well, I can't make you guess what this one is because I can't read it. So it's a Japanese yes. one, <laughs> a Super Famicom, and I cannot guess this either. Uh, <laughs> it's letters. <laughs> now, I will tell you this. Down at the bottom there, <laughs> there are some numbers on the labels to the uh, Super Famicom games, and the best thing to do is to Google search those numbers, and it will tell you the title. From there, future Tom can uh, maybe put some words in for what this game is, because otherwise I have no idea. But we do like to get our Japanese We games. do. And this next one, they were kind enough to translate for us. Okay. So another Super Famicom. Ooh, nice. So we got Fatal. Oh. oh my gosh, that was exciting. Thanks, Peter. <laughs> that was exciting. So we got Fatal Fury 2. And uh, probably all of you know about the Fatal Fury series. It's a long-running uh, fighting series, like a tournament fighter. So think in the vein of like Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat, not as you know bloody and gushy as Mortal Kombat. But uh, these are a lot of fun. And the best thing is, if it's a fighter, you know what that means? It doesn't mean to beat the crap out of me. It means we don't need to know Japanese to be able to play this one. Oh, 
I thought it meant that I could practice my fighting. Watch! Oh, are you catching my punches? Nope, I'm ready for the next game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this one's in a box. And it's sealed. Okay, I'm trying not to look, but you're going to make me look. It's oh, a sealed okay. box. Okay, so when she said in a box, I was expecting Sega Genesis or Master System, like in a clamshell. Nope. But no, we've got uh, Game Boy Advance, Kerplunk, Toss Across, and Tip It. <laughs> <laughs> so it is a three game pack, and you know what? It could be a lot of fun, but I based off if... those games, I, I think I have a good idea why it's <laughs> still I wonder still. if Kerplunk is as nerve wracking on the screen as it is in real life. I don't it. think so. Because it, I think it's more that loud noise of the marbles exactly. falling. Exactly. <laughs> so. Yep, exactly. <laughs> because when you pull that wrong straw and they all, <laughs> and you're just like, <laughs> loud <"Loan> noises! <laughs> that's, that's when the game crosses over with that other old board game. Remember, Don't Wake Daddy? Oh, because it was, it was like actually a secret message saying that the dad's going to get up and like whoop all those children. You woke me up! I got a beer work in two hours! What about, um, what's that one game that had all the little uh, shaped pieces and it was like a buzzer? Perfection. Perfection. That caused, like, probably anxiety <laughs> for half of our generation. Alright, last game. So the final game, our one is. Is another sealed game. Oh, oh! And it is a Dreamcast. Now, Choo Choo, Choo, -choo. Rocket. I think I know a little bit about this. I don't think I ever played it, but this is a uh, this is an interesting puzzle game, and I haven't played it, but I've seen gameplay footage of it, so I may be totally off the mark. But I feel like this is They're kind really of a uh, like a almost like a party puzzle game, like you can play with some of your friends. So it's really frantic, and I think the choo choos are like little mice. Mm -hmm. And I think that you uh, drop, like, arrows or something to say which way they go. It says it's cat and mouse chaos in space. Online multiplayer game brought to you by the Sonic team. Do you think um, you can get online and I'm play this still? I'm thinking we're not going to be able to. <laughs> still can't play it online? So it's this... in really good condition. The case isn't cracked yeah. or anything. And I was actually going to say the same thing about this box. It is in amazing condition. There's not. I mean, I know it's sealed with plastic on it, but like the corners aren't even smushed or anything like that. I think you can play co-op, like couch co-op. Although it really does keep pushing the online part. But well, I, that was the big thing. It for does Dreamcast, say one to four though. players. Dreamcast's true. big thing that they kept pushing was you can get online with it. So this is pretty nice. Yeah. You this wanna... this will be a lot of fun to check out. And Fatal Fury. I mean, fighting games are always fun, you yeah. know, when you got some buddies to beat up and everything on the game. Just keep your fist to yourself. But it'll be neat to see what this is. And I don't know about this one. <laughs> I like having boxed games, so uh, no big deal. And it's us, so let's face it, we'll probably break that seal anyway. <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll at least see if it's as nerve-wracking to play Kerplunk. <laughs> and who's that for? Me. It's for me. What about J-Lo? We'll have to figure out who's older. So see who, who's, oh. who started playing nice. Bubble Rat first. Nice. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. 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 Where'd I go? No, I don't think so. <laughs> no. Sounds like a waiting room in my last chiropractor office. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, at this point in the video, I would like to reach out to all of you nerdlings and ask you if you are familiar with any of these games to leave what you know about them in the comments below. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, maybe you recognize these. And you just can tell us bat. what the other one is. <laughs> maybe you played a lot of Choo Choo Rocket and, uh, you know, maybe you had a lot of fun with it. Did you play it online back in the day? The stone age of online <laughs> gaming so or maybe you're better at toss across when it's in the digital form on a tv screen than you are in real life because i sure know i'm better at bowling when it's on a game than i am in real life playing with that you know so for some reason i just don't have that quite 
good coordination throwing, but I can push a button really well. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, leave some comments down below on what you think of any of these games. Feel free to drop a like if you like the video. And be sure to check out Video Games Monthly, uh, because sometimes it's just fun to get, you know, some good mystery games. Yeah. That, uh, especially stuff like this and Dreamcast games in our area. We never we see this ever stuff. We don't ever see those. So uh -huh. this is pretty much my only outlet for getting these. Um, but, uh... Hit that notification bell, become a subscriber, and... Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for those closer upper pictures to know what we're doing out and about in the real world. And to know that YouTube has dropped a video, because sometimes they're really mean to you, and they just don't tell you that we've dropped a video. And we drop videos, like, every Sunday and Wednesday. <laughs> and hit us over up over on Public because we got merch, and we want to see you in our merch. Yay! So, remember, nerdlings, if we like it... We nerd it. One day, but not today. <laughs> Yay! Yay for no black eyes! Probably all of you know about the Fatal Fury series. It's a long-running uh, fighting series, like a tournament fighter. So think in the vein of like Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat, not as, you know, bloody and gushy as Mortal Kombat. Don't beat me up! <laughs> Doom! <laughs>